It is with great, great pleasure that I welcome you all today to the official launch of the third edition of the Sphere Handbook. As you may already be aware of, Geneva is one of the many places where this launch is simultane simultaneously taking place. Indeed, the same event is happening all over the world, from New York to Melbourne, Kabul, Port-au-Prince, Pretoria, Delhi, and many more places over the globe. This is a clear demonstration of the Sphere Project's international outreach and the successful overall implementation of its standards in numerous as well as diverse geographical contexts. Since its creation in 1997 through an in initiative of the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Movement and a group of humanitarian NGOs, the impact of the Sphere Project through the handbook and its standards is quite considerable. Since its first edition in 2000, the Sphere Handbook has been translated into 43 languages. The standards and the Sphere Initiative as such have contributed to an improvement of the quality of support provided to those affected by disasters and conflicts, as well as increasing the accountability of those providing the assistance. Throughout the years, the Sphere Handbook and its standards became an essential tool for many humanitarian workers. The wide international support of the, that the revision of the Sphere Handbook benefits from is a clear indicator of the broad acceptance of this initiative. Indeed, not only are the standards known and used by the Red Cross movement, the NGOs, and the UN agencies, but the Sphere Handbook the Sphere project itself enjoys a wide funding base of international donors. Switzerland has no doubt of the fact that we will successfully continue to contribute to improve the quality of humanitarian assistance and, as my colleague Ambassador Tony Frisch recently said, encourage a positive change of behavior and mentality within the international community for an increased effectiveness in the delivery of aid. Thank you very much for your attention.